In our previous video, we focused on controlling a shape using iLogic. We built that shape to be able to do what you see here on the screen, which is sheet metal. And this is going to be adaptive sheet metal using that shape. When we originally did it on the shape, you could tell it was curved. And that's exactly how we're going to do this one. So this is the part that we built before. And now we're going to go ahead and build this into uh, a sheet metal piece. This is the interior of it, interior space. And we're going to build on the outside of this. Let's go ahead and do that. To do that, we have to start with an assembly. We're going to go ahead and place, uh, place component. We're going to find that control. We're going to right click and do place at origin. And there we go. I went ahead in this file and already did the YZ plane and put side. And for the XZ, I put TB for top and bottom. And you'll see why this is relevant. We're going to build um, a sheet metal and we're going to go up here to create. And we're going to do that within the assembly. We're going to create this. And I think we'll go ahead and do a side first. So for here, we're just going to type in side one and we want sheet metal. So we have to do template. We have to do the pull down here, sheet metal, say, okay. Now here's where it's not intuitive. And this is where a lot of people stumble on this. We have to pick a plane to be able to, and you'll see it here. We have to pick a plane on the direction that we're going for these parts. So let's go ahead and you'll see this flash for a second and it'll go away. So now we're in that command to be able to, to create the surface. To do that, we're gonna hit sketch. Doesn't matter which side, but we're gonna do the side first. And we wanna go from front to back or back to front, but we're gonna go back. We're gonna pick this surface. It's gonna go um, face us directly. We only wanna do a projection, so we're gonna pick this and we're gonna pick that face that we can see. We're going to say okay to that. We're going to finish it. I'm going to go ahead and turn off uh, the datum that it creates. And then we're going to go up here to do face. But before we do that, we want to get our thickness correct. You remember in the last one, we did 09. So this is where you would do sheet metal. So here is the data uh, dialog. So we uncheck this. We're going to select and do 09 and say okay. So now when we pick this face, we're gonna get an 09 thickness. We'll zoom in, we'll see that it's to the outside, which we want, and we're gonna say okay. That's our first one. You can see return over here, we do not wanna get out of the command. So the next one's gonna be this middle section, so we're gonna do sketch again. We're gonna pick that face. Let's go ahead and turn off the uh, datum because we don't really need this. So let's get rid of that. So you can see, we're gonna go do the same thing. We're gonna go project. We're projecting that face, finish. And since we've already set our thickness, we're gonna hit face here. And this is where the magic happens for this. If I zoom in, it's gonna treat it as one piece. So I'm gonna say, okay. And you can see that it actually stitched that together. So that is one piece sheet metal. So obviously we need the front here. So let's do that again. So we're going to do sketch. We're going to pick that surface. Let me go back here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my datum. It just gets in the way. It's hard to see what I'm doing. Projection, same thing. I'm going to project that. Say finish. Face. And the same thing. It's going to stitch that together. So now we have a one sheet metal stitched. And while we're here, let's go ahead and put our flange on the front. So we're going to hit flange. Sorry, it's jumping around a little bit. My roller is really fast. Um, just for example, one inch is fine. So let's say okay to that. And now we're going to hit return and we're out of the command. So we have that you can see it in red. That is our sheet metal. That's our first piece. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And if you look over here, you'll see 
the surfaces, but you'll see the adaptive portion of this. That's our one side and it's adaptive sheet metal. Okay, let's do create. Let's go side two. Normally, if you had this perfectly perpendicular, a lot of people would just do a mirror. But because we were trying to go around that um, that beam or the post, we want to be able to uh, curve this so it's going to be a different thing altogether. So we want sheet metal. Say OK. Oh, side two. Let's just call it side B. Sorry about that. Or just two dash two. Okay, I'm not typing well today. Say OK. Same thing, we have to pick our plane. It flashes and now we're set. So let's go ahead and do sketch. We're going to pick that. Um, I'm just going to constantly turn these off so we don't have to see them. We're going to do project. Finish. We're going to do just a check. This can, this can change sometimes. We're going to go back up here to the surface. Yep. It got switched back. So let's undo this. Let's make sure this side is the same. 09. Say OK to this. So that means once we've done that, it's going to be 09 all the way down. So we're going to do face. Make sure it's pointing to the outside. And you can. You can see the arrow there. It's going to say OK. We're not getting out of the command. Same thing. We're going to pick this. Let's go ahead and turn off our datum. We're going to do project that side, finish, face, and it's going to stitch those two pieces together. Let's do it one more time. Turn off our datum. It's just over and over the same thing. Um, and usually if you just do this quick enough, then you don't have to worry about um, trying to, you get in a rhythm of it and it just makes it much easier. Okay, so finish, face, okay, stay into command, do flange. Let's zoom in on this, do our flange on the opposite side, say okay. Once you've gotten everything that you need there, then you're going to do return. So that finishes that. Let's hit save. It is a computer, like I said before, never trust it. It can crash on you. Okay, let's go ahead and do the top and bottom. And you can tell that these are different shapes. So each one of these is a very unique uh, shape for uh, the sheet metal. We're going to do create. Let's go top. Sheet metal. I don't know why. I, I think I have something somewhere already typed out that way. Let's, let's see if uh, let's just do T. It doesn't really matter for this. Good enough. Okay, from here, we are going to pick our plane. Remember, we have to do that. Here's our top and bottom plane. So it flashes, then it goes away. But it needs that to be able to know the direction of the association, associative uh, plane that we're going to do. Getting a little tongue-tied here. Let's go ahead and pick sheet metal. Let's do our... Uh, Sketch. Let's turn this off. Let's go project. That. Face. You can see the arrow. We're in the right direction. So from here on out, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just do it. And I'll speed up the video so we don't have to watch this whole process. It can get a little boring if it's just over and over. No one to see that. So let me go ahead and finish this up. And there we have it. You'll remember when we talked before, because of the way the shape was, uh, to get in there in that tight top, 
um, we flip the, the flange on this one to the inside. So from here, we can actually pick this, hide it, and then we have our sheet metal and that can actually go into that uh, wall and because of the angle it can work its way around. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward uh, and you can see all the associative sheet metals over here. Now because this is already individual parts if I right click on this and go open and let's hit home so you can see that. Let's turn off the these planes because it will retain those once you go in there. So let's make these invisible. There you have the sheet metal with the bends. And from here, you can actually do a create flat pattern and back. So you can do that through each one of those. Then if you want to go back into the assembly or go individually and add the holes that you need for the mounting, you can do all that right here. That's adaptive sheet metal. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and contact me. Thank you very much. Have a great one.